3D printing is uh, interesting for the African continent for a number of reasons. We believe it can foster local innovation of locally relevant uh, products. And we also see that 3D printing can reduce Africa's dependence on importation of foreign goods. In other regions, 3D printing has already started to disrupt existing market quite significantly, but it has not done so um, in the African context. And we want to understand better why this is the case and how 3D printing technology can become more widespread and more widely used um, in Africa. So we are intending to investigate these dynamics at uh, two different sites. The first one being a fab lab. We have a number of fab labs in South Africa, but uh, we are looking at the fab lab, which stands for fabrication lab in the city of Cape Town. And the second site that we're we going to look at is, uh, is a small startup in, based in Nairobi, Kenya, called AB3D. So we're looking at these uh, two access-enabling facilities, so to speak, and then we want to understand better how the entrepreneurs and the, the people um, using these facilities do engage internally in collaboration, in sharing, and to what extent this leads to uh, increased innovation and to scaling up their businesses.